Shut up and sit down. Yeah, I'm looking these up on my phone. So first thing we've got, I'll show the picture to the camera to zombie shooters. We um, were not able to get the stuff to make the blood, but I believe that that's just like corn syrup and red food dye. Uh, yep, corn syrup, red food coloring. I posted the link to our Discord server on the community chat. Okay, so for this recipe, we are gonna need some absolute vodka. Don't know how well you can see that because that's a huge bottle. And we are going to have peach oh, schnapps. You don't have to use this kind either. You can use like de coupier or whatever else, which is what I normally use. Emily, if you need to, hmm? if you need to see what. Oh, awesome. And uh, apple pucker. It's not as bright. Yeah. That's okay. Coconut rum. Again, I usually use Malibu, but you can use this one if you want. It just depends. And sweet and sour, which can be anything. No one really cares. Trying to Trying to. Trying to be. Okay, so because we are super awesome, these are new bottles, so I'm going to be opening some of these. So first things first, we're going to get one ounce. I think I'm actually going to do equal parts of one and a half ounces of this. So, yeah. I know this is kind of out of the shot, but that's because this bottle is really huge. So one and a half ounces of vodka. By the way, just so you guys can see, I'm using a martini shaker. I've already got the ice and everything in yeah. it, good to go. So, out of the way. So we've got the one ounce of one vodka, and then yeah. peach schnapps. We need one ounce of that. This is all equal parts. Emily, this is this cup is for me because this is my brand. Yes, your special cup. Heather's a, Heather's a fallout junkie. Yeah. So I will give Heather the first drink. Then. How's that sound? Sorry, that was really loud. Okay. Next, we're going to have one ounce of apple schnapps, which is my favorite apple pucker. Sour, delicious awesomeness. That's fine. I thought it would be cool to like have one person run the inventory from the app. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, hard. yeah, that okay. would be something that would work better. And next, good Wi -Fi. So coconut good. rum. We're almost done. Oh, yeah, I don't think yeah. that would be Trying to keep things yeah, I'm not messy like here, so I'm moving really slow. All right. Oh, gosh. I usually use Malibu because it's like, it's more coconutty. Captain Morgan's a little bit stronger, but it's not too bad, so no worries. And then, last but not least, we add the sweet and sour. Because all the ingredients we've added so far are alcoholic, we probably need the sweet and sour to balance things out a little bit. Because normally you mix it with like alcohol and then non-alcoholic, but everything so far has been booze. So I'm actually going to add just a little extra, just a tiny extra dash of sweet and sour. And then we put the lid on and we shake. The faster and longer you shake it, the frostier it gets, and the colder it gets quicker. For those of you asking about social eating, we're eating pizza right now, so we are Yes. Eating. I actually just Drinking had three counts. pieces, so I'm going to take a break. Let's see how beautiful they, this is. They don't is. have getting drunk, is it? This looks exactly like lemonade. Let's choose this. Because it's fun. Ooh, yeah. So, Heather's getting drunk tonight. <laughs> So if you take a look, the color's just a little bit different. Well, you probably can't tell that well, but it's just a little bit darker in the picture. But as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. I'm going to try a taste quick before I give it to Heather. Is that cool? Heather? Go for it. Okay. Oh my god. You are getting so drunk. Oh god. It is so good. Oh. All right. It's oh, uncovered. It's very, um, it's not good. Uh, oh, it's like apple fruity. Like it's so perfect. Like we need, can, we need what did, how'd they do the blood around the edges? The blood is just corn syrup. It says three tablespoons corn syrup and one and a half teaspoon red food coloring. So oh, cool. I didn't have time to get that stuff, that's but okay. yeah. Um, so 
We need like more green food coloring to make it really, mm -hmm. it looks like lemonade. Yes, actually that's exactly what I said when I poured it. The next recipe that we are gonna make here, if you guys give me a second just to trade out some ingredients, is called a poison apple cocktail. It's probably gonna be similar to this one because it's also got okay, sour apple tucker, thank you. And do you wanna open up the champagne while you're in there? Yeah. Oh, do we have a corkscrew? Uh, I think maybe. I should have brought one with me. Otherwise, worse comes yeah, to worse. I have one not here though. Oh no. How big, what kind of cup do you want for this? Um, any cup will work. Okay. Uh, if you want to bring one of the stemmed ones to okay, make it yeah. fancy. Um. Like this? Yeah. And then, uh, if you want to bring multiple ones, you can because it's probably going to be pretty big. Okay. So I'll make most of them. I'm going to trade out some stuff. Oh, this bottle is really heavy. It's really big. Where is the champagne? Um, I brought it in here. Oh, you oh, right here. Thanks, it. Bryce. Sorry. I didn't see that. I just made uh, Where like, is it? Oh, it's so big. I just made one man nugget a month. Okay. Is that the vanilla? So, that's fair. Right. Oh, is this even. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Do you have the vanilla vodka? Uh, I brought everything that we need in Okay, here. perfect. All right, so we're good. Uh, one Mad Nugget is now our one and only mod. If you, what do you mean mod? If, he can kick people. Oh, nice. Change stuff. Well, so if, if you upset us, one Mad Nugget will wreak havoc upon your life. If you're mean as jerks, we don't want his knees. Hopefully he's cool with that. I yeah. passed him in Discord. Okay. You get to watch me open this beautiful, cool champagne. Um, I guess I untwist this a off. Just to clarify to anybody out there watching, some bottles of champagne can get up to like $65 to $70. They get really expensive and even higher than that. So I just bought like a $15 bottle one because if you're drinking plain champagne, yeah, you probably want it to be okay. better quality. But um, if you're just drinking it as a mixed drink, like we're doing, then it's no big deal. It okay, there were only like two stuff. flutes, so here's an Odell yeah. cup. No, that's fine. Hopefully we'll just leave these two, but I'll use the Odell. Those are technically flutes, aren't flutes that will look skinnier? Yeah, but that's okay. They're Something close. like that. Um, so do we have a bottle opener? Because oh, yeah, do you we're going to need one for this bad boy. Or do you just like twist this? It might be a twist. Yeah, it's a twist off. Sorry four. for anybody whose ears I blew out. We're good. We're Look at this. Well, this is why it pops out because that was a beautiful sound. I'm sorry. Your corkscrew. I'm gonna get some new ice quick because actually, you know what? We're still using apple pucker, so I'll just use this. Yeah. Okay, do you want me to get a little thing of ice? Um, you? If you want to, I only need a little bit more. Okay. So for this recipe, we have. I'm gonna try and be careful. Vanilla vodka, yummy. We're using Smirnoff. Orange liqueur, which is orange Curaco, like instead of blue Curaco. Blue Curaco is the one I'm most familiar with because that's what I use when I'm mixing drinks at bars. That's how you make a delicious audio. Like, can, I, can, I, can I be a jerk for a second? Yes. It's Curacao. Oh, Curacao? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've heard so many other people call yeah. it Curaco, so I just call it that. Yeah, but... some people call it Curaco. It's yeah. Curacao. So I'm an idiot because other people are idiots. I'm an asshole. <laughs> So no, that. that's fine. I'll call it Curacao from now on, and then someone will be like, I'm sorry, but it's called Curaco. Okay, so sorry. The next one is, oh, I apologize. Actually, we're not using that. That is going to be for our next drink, which is a surprise. Okay, so first ounce, vanilla vodka. I'm going to move Heather's drink here. Alright, so we got that. Next is the orange Syracal? Curacao. Curacao. Like a what? Curacao. So now it's Curacao. Orange Curacao, just to clarify. Ooh, that actually smells really good. And then we're going to do the sour apple. It says you can use sour apple liqueur or schnapps. We're obviously just using snaps. So I'm gonna double that. check to make sure I'm remembering correctly. I believe it's Curacao. Yeah. Let's see what YouTube has to say. I, I looked it up last year because I um 
I learned how to make ocean water, like alcoholic ocean waters. If you've ever had an ocean Ooh, water from Sonic. No, that sounds good. They're awesome. really good, but they're really sweet. Okay. And we're only going to use half an ounce of the lemon juice. I'm going to use just a little extra because I haven't, oh God, I haven't been offering, um, operating off of the ounce system. I've been using an ounce and a half, so I'll use just a little bit more. It's basically just like sweet and sour. Oh, it's one of the fake, the fake pronunciation. Yeah, where it's trying to make it weird. Okay, and then last but not least, what we just popped open, our champagne. And it says one to two ounces, and I... Curacao, yeah. Curacao, okay, so you're right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use one, two of these, because it says one to two, and I enjoy the fizz of champagne. This is carbonated, isn't it? So because this has fizz just to be safe, you're gonna wanna kinda just turn it instead of shaping it. And what I actually do is about like every two turns is I'll kind of like, for every couple of turns, I'll kind of like twist it back open just to make sure it doesn't get too fizzy and try, cause I've actually shaken up like energy drinks and soda and that's just a nasty mess that nobody wants to deal with. Yikes. Yeah, so, but this way you can still see it's getting frosty and it's getting cold, so. I think we'll give it a couple more turns. And I'm even turning it a little bit slower than you have to, but that's because I'm an accident-prone person. Trouble just tends to happen to me, so. This is actually a little bit smaller than the other one because the other one had like so many different ingredients to it. But it looks just like the picture. And in the picture they used like dry ice to make it like give it more of an effect too. So you can do that kind of thing. But I've never done stuff with dry ice so I don't want to mess with that. Okay. It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. It tastes more alcoholy, but... More alcoholic than the last one? Um, it's like, it's like good alcohol though. It's like the champagne, so it's whiny. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Bryce, do you want to try? I'm trying to look at the chat. It's really tasty. No one can hear you whispering like that. Mm, this is really good though, actually, because I like champagne, but I don't like it by itself. I like it in like mimosas and stuff like this. Because I'm a lush. So. My computer is just <laughs> a lush. Not doing that's what my mom called me. No, that's funny. No, it's not. That's why. I, I don't know. I shut stuff down. You can go into Task Manager and see if you want. Bryce is fiddling with my computer. So. I think you might need to just hard reboot. Yeah, we can do that. I just didn't want to mess up whatever you were working on over here at the time. Okay, we're going to put a little more ice in here because I'm going to make a couple more of these. Bryce, did you want to try like a taste of each of these to decide which one you want so I can make you one? I want Serial Killer. I know that for sure. You do? Okay. Um, don't we have to have, like, the cereal, like, soaked, though? Shouldn't no, we? we'll just leave it in. That's what they did in the video. Mm. Uh, or do we want to do all these now, or do we want to come back and do Serial Killer in a little bit? Might as well just do them all now. Yeah. So that's that's we, we, we got everything set up. Yeah. Okay, let me go find Serial Killer. It's just in the chat here. The link is, so... Ooh, can or just Google Serial Killer cocktail. Yeah. I have it right here. It's no big deal. Um... No, okay, that shouldn't end. Okay. Sorry about the silence, guys. Oh my god. What's wrong? Chicken the maroon looks bangable. Who is that? Like one of my coworkers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that being a dick? Yeah. Yeah, let's be honest. Well, fuck him. Uh, okay, you're right. I'll just have to Google it because I can't find it. You don't get, get to be a UPS driver by being classy. Yeah. Can you guys guess Whatever. what serial killer has in it? I didn't, I didn't know what I was, uh, Murder. what I was in for when I pressed the link, but, uh, I'll tell you, give you a hint. Play on words. Oh. If you, um, so one of my favorite podcasts is, well, one of my favorite podcasters is Travis McElroy, mm -hmm. and he does a podcast called Intero Bang with Travis and Tyvee, and they made, they were on a show where they made cocktails based on different, like, people, mm -hmm. or shows or whatever, so they made these three cocktails based on Intero Bang, which were supposed to be, 
There's supposed to be cocktails that will make you go, what the fuck? Um, which is kind of what the Intero Bang symbol is. It's a question mark and exclamation mark. Yeah. Um, so one of the drinks was the serial killer, and they all decided that it tastes great. So I was going to say, I'm okay with milk drinks. I'm going to move some of this stuff, Heather, would you? I know you just sat down. Would you mind? I got, some, I got a small bottle of milk. Um, you can actually leave the Irish cream out here, because I just remembered I need that for this drink. So. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, the Irish, Irish whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, I was like, I like looked at it and I was like, she means something else. Well, because they use Bailey's Irish cream as well, so yeah, I got really into that. Is the small Bailey's mine? Yes, I brought the big ones because we had it in a cupboard forever, so I used the big ones, first, yeah. Since yours is closed. Alright, I'm going to go. Closed for business. Do you want to keep drinking your drink here? Sure. I want mine up in that. Yeah. And uh, I think my cereal of choice. Well, if we have extra, I'll keep this cup up. I'm gonna rinse this out. We'll keep this fine. So much was perfect. Yeah, rum chata. Like you could have gotten that, but on that base we already taste like cinnamon toast. Crunch. Yeah, so then you won't be able to get three pebbles or something. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. So we need your milk. I brought the milk out here. So we did. Okay. It's a little bottle of milk. So what I'm gonna do? Is your computer started? Okay. So it yeah. says to soak it, so I'll just kind of put it in a bowl. In four ounces of milk. So I'm going to just. I'm going to go ahead and move this so that it's not covering up my big camera here. Very delicate with these. Buy new glasses if I break them, Bryce. Okay. Bryce has chosen to have his in this bowl of fat cup. I just bought it. Awesome. So what we're gonna do, four ounces of milk to soak the cereal in. It says to soak it for 10 minutes, but I'm guessing, you know, just soaking it will be fine. We'll just leave it in there while we're yeah. doing stuff. Yeah, exactly. Soaking. Which will probably be a good couple of minutes, we'll get the flavor. And it just says soak cereal, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Just we're, not, we're not gonna strain it out, we're gonna leave it in. Oh God, really? It says to strain it. We're not going to. That's not what the Travis and Tybee version is. Oh yeah. God. Well, sure. how about you don't strain yours, and if we want to strain ours, we'll strain ours. Yeah. I don't really want chunks of cereal floating around around my alcohol beverage. Yeah. I like to eat them when they're crispy. Okay. Same. So you tell me when, Bryce, since this is your drink, tell me when to stop the cereal for, or you're going to get a ton of cereal. Yeah. You got a problem? Yeah. All right. Heather. There you go. That's perfect. Hey, cereal. Okay. So, um, add two ounces of the cereal soaked milk into a shaker. We don't have that yet. So we're going to do the Amaretto, the Irish whiskey, cream liqueur, um, and yeah, Irish whiskey and Irish cream. Sorry, they had them together. Like they were all one thing. And so I was like confused. Okay. So one ounce of the cream, which in this case we're using Bailey's. Put that in there. And I'm making the mess. And then, a lot of viewers. where is the Irish whiskey at? Where did I put that at? What comes, constitutes oh, a lot? Three. Nine. Well, good. We're glad to have you guys watch us be alcoholics. That's our favorite thing Minus to do on this show. Two. Okay, so one ounce of the Irish whiskey. It's going to look a little creamy because I just had the babies in there. So. You had babies? Babies, yes. I didn't want to tell you guys, but I figured now's the best time than ever now that we're getting wasted. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have the various past tense, it'd be fine. And see, technically, once once cereal's involved, this is still social eating. Okay. I'm going to grab a spoon really quick. We're talk we missed we miss conversations because it's... Sorry, we're restarting... We're also restarting Emily's computer. Yeah. Emily's computer is away. Yeah, Emily's computer. Emily, you're going to log into your computer. My computer, yeah, is what opens up the chat, so I haven't been looking at it. I mean, I reopened a different computer, but Emily's going to run... Computer. Yeah, so from here on out, if Bryce forgets anything, well, it's his fault. If we, uh, we have a Discord if you want to talk to us there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, search last so week. There's a link out. somewhere. Uh, but we also have that open. So are you sure you want to leave I want to try to read that one. Are you sure you want to leave all this cereal in there? Yeah. Okay. That sounds not good, Bryce. That's a lot of cereal. You're a lot of cereal. That's a lot of cereal. Maybe it'll kill me. 
Good. Don't die, Bryce. Then, then we it, may give you crap. Then we can take one Mav Nugget with us to Boston instead. Yeah, right? Well, then you have to find two people to take. Good. Oh, we'll take oh, one Mav Nugget and wolf, wolf down instead of you. Okay, guys. So Bryce wants to keep his cereal in there. I think it's soaked enough. I added the Irish whiskey and Bailey's, which is the cream liqueur. So... All right, here goes. I'm gonna put it in the shaker and shake it up like you do a normal drink. This is a lot of cereal, Bryce. Here, I'll just I put. I think Bryce might regret this decision a little bit. I mean, it is just cereal. It's not necessarily gonna hurt anything, but it's just a lot of chunks. One bad nugget is the best model. Okay. Our best friend. Perfect. He's probably getting us people because he's awesome. All right, um, lid on. Playing with him a little bit. And we're gonna shake it like it's crazy. It is. You realize I live in Australia. There, there's actually a uh, PAX Australia the weekend we'll be playing. Well, actually, November 5th and 6th. Why don't we just do that instead? Just go. Extra life in Australia. All right. Here we go. Hey, one mad nugget. We can stay with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> you mind? Oh, hey, this so, is a strainer, so you're not going to get the cereal in there anyway. Aww. <laughs> That's okay. Aww. This makes it perfect. There's chunks of cinnamon in there. You're going to love it. You can, you can eat the cereal separately. This is all yours. Check it out, bro. Oh, you, you were meant to have this in this cup. This is beautiful. Because that's the kind of cup you might eat. Like, Here, guys, cereal let me see if I can ways. kind of show you without spilling. It's sort of a, it's like a cinnamony, like, white, ooh, it's a cinnamon yum. wonderland. It basically looks like you just ate Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and this is the milk, so. <laughs> the right. alcoholic milk. And Heather and I are going to try ours with Fruity Pebbles, so okay. later, so. Let, we'll me, try ours with fruity. let me sit in the deal and while I'll try okay. this. Try it and show us your expression. I'll go get fruity pebbles ready for us. It, they look delicious once I strain the cereal. Hi. Hey. Okay. Have you tried it? It smells really good. Cheers. Hurry up, you whoopie. Rooster chat is taking forever to open. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. My computer can be an asshole sometimes. Yeah. How is it? I can barely taste the alcohol. Yeah, that's good. Okay. It tastes mostly like cinnamon toast crunch. It's amazing. Well, and that's because like most of the alcohol was like cream Bailey's and then oh, wow. in there. It's, it's, it's so good. Yeah. Can I sure you don't want the cinnamon toast crunch one? No, I want fruity pebbles. I love fruity pebbles. Here, let me try this. If I get if I get the plague, I'll be very upset. Why would you get the plague? Because one of you has the plague, and I won't tell you which one. Okay. <laughs> well, my plague is allergies right now, so it's the first time I've what been healthy yeah, since good. I started my student teaching. Can you guys still hear Emily? Like she's mic'd, separate yeah. body mic. Can you hear her? I'm away from the camera. But well, I'm. I don't have the chat open quite. Okay, and now thank it's you for written. compliment, Bryce. Ooh, he got lucky charms too, bro. I guess I could kick my brother out of the house and then two of you could have one room and then one could be in the other. Oh, thank you. Okay, so you're finally out of it. You gotta eat some of these. Here, take your drink. You can hear you can hear mumbling from her, so you can't actually hear. Oh god, I'm glad this is still. I don't think this is even on. Yeah, it is on. Just kidding. Um. Sorry, is it not working? I could put it closer to me, but well, this is as close as I can get it. See, see the third line. The third line on there is your mic. Hello. Hello? 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 It goes to the middle point when I speak normal. Yeah, and right now I'm speaking as what I would it normally be speaking. It should be pretty loud. Yeah. I'm... I think you're probably just mumbling from the other room. Yeah, I well, I also just took some Cinnamon Toast Crunch and went blah, 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 blah. Emily so. tends to mumble. That's okay. Yes. I've been trying to get better about it, but... Seriously, we have a lot of... I don't know. Okay, so again, we're going to have the four ounces the of milk. Two, three. Bryce is trying to be all secretive over here. Even though we can probably very clearly hear him. Okay, so again, we're going to have... I'm also going to angle this back down so you guys can see me again. How do you... How do you do this, Bryce? Yeah, Bryce, oh, I can hear you. Yeah, can you really hear you whispering? Oh, cool. Okay. And then you... Okay. I think that should be good. Keep Perfect. in mind, I'd have to ask my mother. Be like, hey, mother, can I have three strangers I met on the internet and not yeah. person over for a couple days? Here's the thing, Jeremy... Jerome. Jerome. 
I'm an el- I I teach elementary school music. <laughs> I'm trustworthy. Yeah, she is. Everywhere, okay, literally everywhere I go, I run into, I like see students, and they either whisper or they yell. They go, oh, Miss Kelsey, Miss Kelsey, or they go, oh, it's Miss Kelsey. And like I still um, hear them. One mad nugget. I think you know what to do to the people who are being douches. Can you get me a spoon? That sounded very like fatherly. Okay. Did you see people what people are saying in the yeah, chat? Yeah, I am. We're doing fruity pebbles this time, just to remind you guys. So we've got the just four ounces out, of milk, and we've got the mm. fruity pebbles in here. So we're gonna let those soak for a little bit, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Thank you. Oh my God, Bryce! I forgot to add the amaretto to yours. That's why yours tastes so little of alcohol. So Heather and I are gonna get a little more alcoholic <laughs> treat. <laughs> So mine could have been even more delicious. Yes, it could have. If you want to throw yours back in there, I can mix it back up. Let us chug this and then we'll get a new one. Yeah, I'll make another one. I gotta grab my martini shaker because I forgot. I went to go get more ice. Forgot. Is this great television? You spelled speech wrong. Just a heads up. The inner teacher coming out. No, it's my inner dick being. Yeah, whatever. I would be on this myself, but Emily's computer's being really slow. Um, don't act extra like you're gonna be douches. Yeah. Just be do good things with a douche. Yeah, be cool douche. You can you can talk as douchey as you want as long as you're helpful. What are they saying? Um, you can look. It's not something we're gonna read. Okay. Yeah. No, just in general. Okay. All right, so fruity pebbles, and this time we're gonna remember to add the amaretto. So that's why I was a little confused because I have very little alcohol, but we put the amaretto in there, and we're gonna have two different types of alcohol. What is up with these people? Okay, so one ounce of the Irish whiskey. One minute. I'm working on it. I got it. And one ounce of our oh, no, amaretto. Okay. So, That's what I'm doing. Okay. We're using like Phil, Phillips amaretto. Ooh, that's dark. Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, other than the soaking milk we have over here, should we model Bailey's? Well? Sure. Oh, uh, click on them and, and click the. Here we go. Flash. Yeah. yeah. Bam. I'm actually kind of doing an ounce and a half with these, but as long as it's all equal parts, it doesn't really matter. We're up to 16. Okay. We should have Emily make drinks every Here weekend. Are, I would love that. Here are our fruity pebbles. Now, because I'm using a martini shaker in the recipe, it says to strain the cereal, but we're just going to dump it all in there because the martini shaker will uh, strain it for us, and this gives it a little extra shake and soak time. So, here we go. Not for any children clothes? Is that me? It's the discussion we had last week. I was going to say, really children's clothes. No, we were, we, were, we were messing with Grace because his shirts are a little small on him. Oh, yeah. I like that shirt you were wearing in that picture that's now your profile picture. Uh, John was saying that Grace has convinced himself he's a medium, but he's actually a large. Yeah. You bulked up from UPS. All right. So yeah, you're all bulked now. If I wore a large, it'd be really bad now. But it would fit. No. See, this. This, this fits my lengthwise. Nice and fast. Like, See? It doesn't fit lengthwise. It's too short. And we are going to pour this one. On the line. For Heather and I. Oh, no, you're not. In this little stout cup here. Do I still have larges? I used to wear larges. We're just time. trying to be honest with you. Like Ooh, it. ours looks like, like sort of like a pinkish, yellowish like liquid. You're pretty. Bryce was all white with like cinnamon spots in it. Oh, we've even got some fruity pebble chunky. Oh, that's pretty. That's very fun and colorful. It's basically like you're drinking alcoholic cereal milk. So whatever cereal you love, like drinking the milk of, which for me honestly is more chocolatey, but I like fruity pebbles too. Um, whatever you pick is it's your the world is your oyster. You gotta pick up. Yeah, you should pick up the camera once you're done pouring it and. Zoom it in on the fruity flakes. Yeah, here, I'm going to turn it so that we can really, if you guys look, you can see those, like, fruity chunks in there. We got, like, lots of, like, I'm holding it weird, sorry, like, delicious. It's beautiful. Yeah, so 
I do you mind if I ask first place? No, go for it. Okay. One Mad Nugget says, I'm an XL TBH. See, that shirt fits you. That this is, is an XL. really good. Oh my god. I didn't think I would like this this much, but. People need to stop freaking we'll out so that. much about the size of their clothing. People are different. Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, I prefer. Ooh, your isn't that amazing? Wow! You can taste the alcohol, but, but it's it like tastes smooth. just like fruity pebbles. Yeah, okay. it's like it goes really well with it. Try this. Oh, I love that. It's That's really like good. My childhood self and my adulthood self, like combining combined into. into no. one oh, I'm just throwing this away. The past meets future in one drink. Okay. Yeah, I just really know this guy. I gotta like drink these apple martinis too. No, no, sit down. I know. Yeah, we've got a lot of beverages here that we need to work on. Okay. Um, have you guys tried all of the drinks? Yes. Yep. Of here, uh, here we need yeah. to try these ones. Yeah. So try that's the poison apple cocktail. Heather and I both already tried that. It's got that champagne flavor. It's not bad. And then this is the zombie shooter, which obviously is a lot bigger than a shooter. I made it. I just realized that a lot of people here right, who are here right now probably think that I'm just a giant dork wearing a vest. We're wearing Emily and I are wearing costumes. Yes. Um. Do you want to? Okay. Say I'm a Pawnee goddess from Parks and Rec, although mm -hmm. I haven't done all my patches yet, so I've only got a couple. I am sort of. I just kind of threw this together with a dress I had. I am like a pirate slash like old timey swordswoman because I've got my dress kind of, and then I got like this is supposed to hold my swords, but I'm not wearing my swords right now, so. And I got boots that go with it too, so yeah. I'm someone who used to work at Taco Bell. Yeah. Because I used to work at Taco Bell. Did you um, did you hand people their drinks immediately after you handed them their cards? I'm probably I'm sure I was probably a really bad. We're kind of sharing that, person. and then this is okay. We're sharing all of these. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Of the drinks, which is your favorite? I think the fruity pebbles. What is the name of that drink? I don't know. The Cereal Killer. The Cereal Killer, yeah. Which is awesome, because when I read it, I was like, oh, cool, another Halloween drink. But it, it was like perfect as a Cereal Killer. What is your favorite drink? I can't decide, honestly. They're I all love good. all of these. Yeah. I love all of them. Because I really like like the champagne-y flavor of this poison apple cocktail. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I'm not going to go through all of it. It's awesome. They're all awesome. Mine is definitely Cereal Killer, because it seriously tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I mean, it tastes like you're eating cereal, but it's gonna get you drunk. Yeah. Exactly. It's Which, drunk cereal. That's the best part of cereal. It's cereal for alcoholics.